How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, shocking story this one. As you can see from the title of the video, um, a father, use the word loosely, battered his two-year-old son to death. Left him with 39 separate injuries, including a torn liver. Um, you can see the picture of him at the start, guys. Um, he'll be on protection in prison, fearing for his life and stuff like that, because obviously child murderers, they go on protection, don't they? Anyway, headline reads, Dad jailed for 24 years for battering son two to death. A man who kicked and punched his two-year-old son to death in a savage murder has today been sentenced to 24 years in jail. Raphael Kennedy, 31, left Dylan Tiffon Brown. God bless little Dylan Tiffon Brown. May he rest in peace, little man. With 39 injuries to his head, face, neck, torso and limbs after the violent beating. The toddler, who also had cocaine in his system, was left screaming in agony for an hour before Kennedy called an ambulance. But Kennedy, a known drug dealer, was today jailed for a minimum of 24 years at Northampton Crown Court after being convicted of murder last week. During sentencing, Justice Sue Carr told the court his son would have been in agony with broken ribs and a torn liver. She said, In the morning of Friday, December the 15th, 2017, that's the day of my birthday, guys. Um, so, yeah, you woke up late by reference to Dylan's normal routine at 10 a.m. By this time, Dylan would have been awake for a few hours, left his own devices to roam in a flat which contained Class A drugs and your drug paraphernalia. Whatever triggered the assault, you lost your temper with him and inflicted a savage and sustained attack on him. You undoubtedly beat Dylan in a fit of anger and or stress so hard to fracture his ribs and tear his liver. You used some sort of an object to beat his arms. The expert evidence confirmed that injuries could have been inflicted in a short period of time, but they were multiple and all over his body, including face and arms. Dylan would have been in agony, bewildered and terrified. Slowly his condition would have deteriorated before your eyes, going from screaming, curling to crying to trying to avoid movement. The jury heard how Dylan suffered at least 13 rib fractures of at least three different ages, indicating that Dylan had been attacked on earlier occasions. He'd also been struck with a rod or an electric cable at least three times. Shows a little picture of um, little Dylan, which I'll put at the start, guys. God bless the little man. May rest in peace. When police searched Kennedy's flat in Queen's Park, Northampton, in December 2017, Drugs, ashtrays and rubbish, including dirty nappies, were thrown on the floor. Kennedy, who admitted during the trial that his main income came from selling heroin and crack cocaine, described himself as a fantastic father. Are you fucking kidding me? Fantastic father. He looks like a fucking addict himself, guys. He looks like he's on the fucking brown or the white himself. Yeah. And do you know what makes me laugh, right? He, he must have pleaded not guilty to go to trial. You see what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, he admitted that he, he, he came from selling crack and heroin, but I personally think he takes them as well. Described himself as a fantastic father. Michael Mather, Lee's QC defending, said there is no evidence of him administering the drugs. There is clear evidence of gross negligence. No gross negligence. He beat his son to fucking death, man. You're joking me. Speaking after the sentence, DCI Ali White of Northamptonshire Police said there are no winners in this sad case. On December the 15th last year, two families lost a grandson killed at the hands of his father, a person he had only known for 10 weeks. So he's not even a good father. He'd only been in his son's life 10 weeks, guys. Raphael Kennedy beat his son with so much ferocity that he caused multiple rib fractures, caused devastating internal hemorrhaging of major organs. This caused life-threatening injuries, and despite the unparable pain, pain sorry, and suffering that Dylan would have been in, Kennedy failed to call the emergency services for a significant period of time. Blood tests show that Dylan had extremely high levels of cocaine and other Class A drugs in his system at the time of his death. Hair samples also show he had cocaine, heroin and cannabis in his hair at the time of his death, something Kennedy admitted being responsible for. That could have actually been in his system and sweated out through his pores and stuff like that and became, like I say, follicles in his hair. Uh, it's unimaginable for most of us to believe that a parent could be responsible for killing their child. Sadly... Dylan was brutally beaten to death by his father just 10 days before Christmas. Shock him. Absolutely. There's the guy being in prison, on protection, shitting himself for his own life. 
fear for his own safety. Look at them eyes. Looks like he's looks like he's on the brown or the heroin. Uh, the brown is the heroin. Uh, the brown or the white. Disgusting case, guys. Absolutely shocking. Deplorable, guys. Will he get his just desserts in prison? Um, prison isn't like VP wings or the protection wings. Is like VP stands for vulnerable prisoners. Vulnerable in the sense that they'd be attacked if they was in general population. Well, he's on the. He'll be on the VP wing or the protection wing. Now, ordinarily, the protection wing is rapists, nonces, kiddie fiddlers, just wrong guns, former police officers that may have ended up on charges and end up on there and. You know what I mean? Little things like that. But you can also get deadheads and stuff, gang members and other people that put themselves on VP. It's embarrassing. I could never land at a prison and say, hi, I would rather, I would like to go on VP because I can't handle jail or because the nature of my offence or something like that. You go and do, if you're a paedophile or a rapist or a child murderer like this scumbag, right? They shouldn't be afforded protection in prison. They don't have it in America. They're just left out there for people to, to, to murder, do you know what I mean? Again, the last child murder that was killed in prison was a guy called Liam Dean, who was from Wakefield and killed his baby. Ended up in prison in Armley or HMP Leeds um, and was attacked and he was killed in his cell. I don't know if he was on protection and he was murdered by his padme in protection or I don't know if he went into general population thinking he was a hard man and, and got dealt with. He was killed with a broken uh, aftershave bottle. Um, with any luck, um, this Raphael... Um, what's it called Raphael Kennedy will get the same sort of punishment. Um, prison's very lawless, guys, and stuff like that. Things you don't want to be in prison: grass, paedophile, rapist, child murderer. Trust me. Right, guys. On that note, I'm going to leave this video here. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about this scumbag and the story. Uh, God bless little Dylan Tiff and Brown. May you rest in peace, little man. Thoughts and prayers are with your mum side of the family. Um, like I say, may you rest in peace. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.